he's been involved with in sport management. So uh, we're really looking forward to, uh, to, some, to seeing these athletes uh, demonstrating that touch is for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it is an all abilities uh, competition. There are a mix of disabilities out there or, or abilities, actually, because when you guys see what these athletes are able to put onto the touch football field, you can't, cannot help but be impressed as we see the Scorpions get us underway here against the Brisbane Cobras. The speed of the game, very, very impressive. And as we said, lots of mixed abilities out there. Just talk us through some of the athletes that we might be seeing in, on, in these games. Well, the, uh, the athletes will have a, a variety of different abilities. Uh, one of the things that we'll see a lot of is uh, the, the main point that the, uh, that the viewers will start to notice will be the different coloured socks. Over the ball right now is, is a non-certified athlete. There's a certain ratio that we're allowed to have right. of certified to non-certified athletes that uh, essentially provides a little bit of extra experience on the field and, uh, and gives the, the players a bit of extra support. Yeah, excellent. As we see uh, the gentleman there in the headgear, number 11 for the Scorps, Zach Jones, yeah. He's, uh, he's been uh, in the thick of the action, throwing his body around out there. As we see a turnover now for the, uh, from the Cobras, so the Scorpions will get another opportunity. The Scorps uh, last year, Tier 1 winners, the champions of the uh, inaugural Indomi. Uh, for this sport to actually have an, an all-abilities division yeah. within the, uh, the, our national event. With a national event, absolutely. And the title last year, as you said, anybody that was here or watching at home would never, ever forget that, uh, that final. Uh, it was an amazing um, thing to be involved with. I, I had the, uh, the pleasure of commentating last year. Well, As we see a big break here from the Scorps. Through he goes. Doesn't look like a touch was made. So that's outstanding work there for Michael. No, not Michael Wade. That's Chris Smith for beautiful. the Scorpions. Opens the scoring. Beautiful burst of pace. He's split the defence. Behind a not retiring player offside. So we can see there as he gets through the gap. And he is a uh, certified athlete, I believe. Yep. So the way... Nice ball out to the right-hand side there, right out onto the edge. Ethan Galovich down the sideline, gets touched for the final touch. So a, a turnover. But that's where you want to turn the ball over, right down on your opponent's scoreline there, Des. That's the perfect spot for it. It's on his own uh, sub box side of the field. Nice ball too from oh, Zach. Go. Got some space pace. out wide. Has he got the pace to get there? I say he has. The defence comes across in cover. He maintains his footing as he gets the ball, ball down there. Michael Wade. So that is the second try for the Sydney Scorpions. So on the paint away scoreboard, they extend their lead out to four points now. So we said, certified athlete. Des pointed out. Have a look at the socks. They are their normal coloured socks, not the bright yellow ones. So a certified athletes, two points for that try as Michael gets back to touch. So another try for a certified athlete this time. Kyle Schaberg takes the Scorps out to a 6-0 lead. Let's have a look how it happens, Des. Talk us through this one on replay. Just a bit of space, a missed touch, just not quite into the, uh, in the position there. And he's just found some space in front and able to put the foot down. It's a beautiful chase. There's a bit of desperation here at the end. Just not quite able to get there. So just some comments on the, uh, the chat. From Facebook, we've had a question. Where are the Scorpions from? The Scorpions are from the Sydney area. Um, they take in clubs around the Parramatta, Manly and Hills Districts. Of uh, the Sydney uh, Basin. Across the board. Parramatta, Manly, very strong clubs. Hornsby in the, uh, in the men's division has been a very strong club for a long time. Yeah, and they, uh, looks like they're uh, matching that in the abilities division as well. Absolutely no reason they wouldn't. Nice There's ball over the top. Great hands. Go you, good thing. <laughs> you heard the calls in the, uh, the, the effects, Mike. He goes down the big fella. But what wheels do we saw there from Dylan Donaldson? The pass over the top, beautifully executed, and Dylan takes it nicely straight to the chest, as you said. Here we go. We'll see it again. Brett Stenhouse it was that got the pass away. Dylan, white line fever. Here comes the cover defence. 
Not in time, but a great chase. And that's that gentleman, number 10, again. I'd love to give him a rap, Des, but I just can't get his name. He's been chasing hard. He's been played sports in primary schools. The touch development is outstanding in Australia, as it is in New Zealand as well. And all around the world, we are growing the game. And it's divisions like this that'll uh, really spread the love of touch football as we see another break this time. Stenhouse gets another good ball over the top, this time taken by Michael Wade, who loses his footing, unfortunately. But Stenhouse is really uh, bringing the game to its extremity. Oh, beautiful yeah, dummy from our friend Zach Jones. He's got some wheels, Zach. He's got some wheels. He's got some energy. It was you know, the first play is set up here from Zach. He gets it across out to Michael Wade who unfortunately loses his feet, but plays the smart play to retain his, uh, retain his feet, hold the ball, and then play the ball for the next phase of play. Yeah, certainly extends the lead out now, 10-0. That exists within the All Ability session is the fair, uh, with the All Abilities division is the fair play rule, which when a try results in a team having a lead of 10 or above, and that will be the final score. Yeah, awesome. So we don't have the blowouts. They, yeah. They've earned the uh, they've earned the lead and the win, if that remains that way. But we don't want blowouts because it is about participation. That's the name of the game here. We see there number seven, Bailey Morris, taking it forward. This is good. Promising here. Ball over the top. Taken nicely by Michael Wade. Will he get it back inside? One and a half minutes remaining. It would be great to see the Cobras uh, cross the stripe here, Des. There's a bit of space there in the middle. There's some nice lead-up play here. Zach Francis just sets up there with a nice drive into the line. I've got numbers on the right if they could exploit it. It's Courtney Trenery with the ball. Gets it back inside to Emily Kate Williams. You can see these girls are combined. Natalie Heinovich there. She's been busy. That's Natalie now. Just a little dump and split. It looks like she's that's, in That's here. her. Oh, I'm going to call that one down. I'm happy with that one. Natalie Heinovich. Gets on the scoreboard for the Cobras. So a certified athlete. Let's have a look at that. A quick a quick pass off the ground. A quickie, as we call it. Down she goes. Gets the ball on the line. Dion, unfortunately, had his two feet well behind the line on that occasion and couldn't reach forward. So good heads-up footy from Natalie Heinovich to get the Cobras on the board. For plotting his athletes on the field as well. Zahuda sounds in the background. One final play for the Scorpions. And a great touch there to round us out by Emily Kate Williams. So that'll conclude the first match in the All Abilities Division here at the 2021 Inferno National Touch League. The Indomi Noodles All Abilities Division 10-2. The Scorpions take out the opening match. We'll have some more action coming your way in just a few minutes' time. The world's sporting landscape has changed forever. This is the new normal. New logo, new sizing, new templates, new range. But for the same great quality and service you've always expected and demanded, visit the team at Inferno. Inferno. It's comforting to know some things you can always rely on.